It's all in on this, folks. Yu Zhang dusts himself off to come back for game five in the decider. Who moves on through the upper bracket? Falcons AP Bren or Blacklist International? We are just a few moments away from the game beginning. Rockhart and Leo signing off for the last pre-game in this series as we throw over to Ingan and Nice. Thanks so much, Rockhart and Leo. And man, oh man, lunch money or not, Welcome we are to in Mobile Legends. for a game at number five. I have no clue who's going to come out on top of this one. It's going to be FCAP or Blacklist International because I love both lineups. Ingan, what are you thinking here? How do you feel? The Yu Zhang is up too. A real throwback brought to us by Lord JM. Finally, the Dragon. We can finally say Black Dragon for once again. And this actually complements his his playstyle because the Benedetta a while ago, he was just literally, you know, zoning out, trying to disrupt Falcon's AP Bren. And what more, what a better way to do it with a Black Dragon form? Might as well. Again, there's so many good choices here, I guess you could say, for Haji to go ahead and use that hard guard. And, you know, you want to get to that back line. Perks taking a couple shots here. Of course, relying on some of that healing. Again, the even the Revitalize is going to play a part in both. Or actually, it's just Black Dragon. Oh, whoa! Okay. They're committing a whoa. lot just to bring down MP the King. But Haji with the love wave will save MP. Now they're focusing their attention next onto Kyle, onto Perks. Kyle oh, with oh, oh, oh. the Queller. Queller again. This time around, a good takeoff there. Starting things early on for FCAP. And we all know what this does. I mean, the panel on actually both languages talk about how snowball-y uh, Suyo can be. And I'm sure for most of the viewers out there, you guys have seen this hero now time and time again throughout the last couple weeks. He's been available for competitive play. And so there's got to be a response. And that's why there was so much pressure put on MP the King as well, because that combo alone, the Angeling, can be devastating, especially in the early game once that hard guard's available. Haji doesn't have it just yet, and this turtle is up here. So we'll see. Again, he's not going to have it most likely for this fight. Another catch from Ogwen onto Perks. Now Flap TZ will cut up. Perks is actually out there as Kyle TZ will get the turtle. MP the King goes in with the Tempest of Blades, trying to do something there. And I do agree, a lot of pressure is going to boil down to MP the King, because we all know the Alice, strong in the late game, scales up. But if MP the King doesn't manage to, you know, make it past the mid game, uh, the Alice pick won't be any use. Look at this protection, too, that Blacklist International has to do continuously to go ahead and allow MP the King to get that purple buff at least. And so with that, the FCAP's going to play with that Alice carry matchup. But right now, I'd say FCAP's done everything that they've wanted to do. They continue to just play around their strengths, and Lord JM gets killed too off the camera here. Off cam kill there for a few. Even when Haji's in the picture, he's going to get the pick off onto Lord JM. And again, I do agree with what you're saying. Falcons AP Bren are checking the boxes of what they need to do now. Black PC putting on work onto MP the King. MP the King will get his purple buff. Hardguard is there to ready to save oh. MP. This time focusing their attention onto Pew. I thought they were chasing Black PZ. Tempest of Blades will be there to bring down El Capitan Pew. Now MP the King wants to go for the payback. Black PZ with a quick sand guard. But here comes the dragon. Yujo working on Ogwen. Ogwen with even with the Primal Wrath will be taken down by MP the King as Kyle TZ gets the turtle. It's a trade, right? Yeah, turtles couldn't go in. To help aid MP the King. Like, look, look at this. Look at this setup here. Just whenever the purple buff is up, Blacklist knows. All right, we get a position. Protect purple. Oh. Let MP the King continue to go ahead and farm up scale up the way he needs to be. He hasn't gone down yet, so for the most part, Blacklist is fine. It's just, you know, if they go three for three for turtles for FCAP, that's not the end of the world here for Blacklist. They can still go in even when it comes down to the Lord fights and hope that by that time, Oheb is where he needs to be. Again, he's still working, I think, on that second item. He did have that Conqueror of Destiny pretty early on, but I think he rushed it. But eventually, your lineup starts to shine towards the later portion of the game here for Blacklist. Right now, though, it looks like they're going to want to go ahead and contest this. Flap TZ for the front side. Ogren will join us, too, at least forcing them back. Here we go. Okay. They're going to pick up Perks. Perks forces these are revitalized. MP King goes in, plus the hard guard. He comes down to play the dragon as well. A lot of ultimates being casted. No precise target yet, but Owen will fall down and have the five members of Blacklist preventing Falcon's AP Bren from going for the turtle. They stop that for now. Owen goes down, but Blacklist still has a lot of good tests for that Lord. Okay, Lord is up here, but as we saw, Purple Buff was taken with that retri retribution from Kyle Teezy. So they'll start things up. Good push into that tier one on the bottom side. Now they'll work on it. Half health on the Lord right now. Perks dealing with it. There's a good seal. Yeah, MP the King goes down with the Tempest of Blades. That's the hard ball, but it got perked it down. Super Marco also goes down. Here comes the Black Dragon form. Has to retreat, though, as Perks trying to soak up the damage, but cannot out sustain the damage of Falcon's AP. Brand of counterattack coming in from Blacklist as they bring the flap in Ogwen. Oheb has been activated, but that triple kill from Kyle Teezy. Flowing blood just to escape. A 3 for 4 trade. Falcon's AP Bren gets four agents and might be able to take this Lord away. Yeah, Oheb's not going to do that. Not again, so with Kyle Teezy there. And you to help him out with the utility. So that is a Lord secured here for FCAP. You can see it, though. Blacklist. It's high uh, contention rate each and every time as the Falcon's AP Bren here. 
making use of their lore. They're, they want to go and pop the energy shields of Blacklist. Blacklist makes quick work of the Lord, saving all their inhibitor turrets so far. But again, the resilience of Blacklist can't be denied here. One set up from Lord JM with a jump and purify. Can turn things around, even if Falcon's AP Bren has an outstanding gold lead at 6.4. All right, let's take a look at these items real quick. We're going to see if Blacklist is in a good position. You know, Ohep's down a little bit, but you saw that he did pump out some damage. He's got a Holy Crystal Starlium Scythe now. Jump in. They use the Avatar of the Guardian a little bit later. The Heart Guard on Oheb to kind of sustain that fight because of where he is, even itemization-wise. So those are those extended fights might come out helping Blacklist with their lineup. But if they don't get to the later portion of the game, it's going to be difficult for them to do it. So Fcap with this lead, their items nearly locked in. They'll start up this next Lord here. Saw two Winner's Crown was picked up by Oheb, so that could play a part if he jumps in the Blood Oath, Blood Oath and everything else, even with a hard guard or not. Okay, Effie, they can just wait patiently for a perfect opportunity to strike. Haji as well, managing the bottom lane. Uh, ultimate of Haji is ready to be expended. Quarter of health here. Both teams still kind of feeling this out. It's going to go for a reset. And this is exactly why I was saying FCAP will respect what Blacklist can do. They're pushing oh, it. A fake reset, a joke. Falcon's AP Bren gets the Lord. Fortunately for Blacklist, even though they don't have a trade, they're not going to lose anyone though, as Falcon's AP Bren works on trying to get the purple buff away from MP. MP still has his red tree, and he's going to secure a purple buff for this potential defense. Let's think about the defense here. Okay. Hang on. Can a Blacklist, do they actually have a good defensive lineup with this? I mean, this is not your traditional marksman. It's also not a Harith, which we see so often. No. It's an Alice, right? Your, your Alice is here. You should relatively be able to clear waves out, but the problem is, in, in certain cases, you're also going to have to be using those ultimates to help clear things out. The Lord in the mid lane, these waves are, they're lined up, they're managed really well here. FCAP wants to get these base turrets down. You're 15 minutes in, you've got a 7,000 gold lead. Blacklist is on the defense. What can they do but watch the turrets be taken down? Mid lane turret about to fall down as well as the bottom lane turret. Blacklist desperately trying to work on this Lord. Q just continuing to spam out the lantern flares. Let's see if they're going to be able to pick someone up. Blacklist makes quick work of this Lord. Still saving their bottom lane, inhibit their turret, and Falcon's AP Bren again, displaying this flip. Open up the seal. Okay, let's see. If Vulcan's gonna initiate, okay, forcing out Lord James Black Dragon form. Everything goes in with the hard guard as well. On to Super Marco, oh. they tried to go for Bulletproof. Oh. Let's see if he's gonna fall down, but they managed to bring down the dragon. Super Marco stays alive. Now they're working on Oheb. An Immortality pop by Owen with their drop play coming in from Oheb. I, they, they might be able to take him down. Oh my god, they're going to the flicker combination, bringing down the Filipino sniper. <laughs> AOJ from Perks just to walk away. Oh man. They have minions onto the top, they have minions onto the mid lane. Falcons AP Bren on the verge, avoiding this game. Falcons AP Bren breaks the momentum of the code and soars forward to the upper bracket final. And FCAP will make it happen. Respecting what Blacklist International did, and they brought up the game of five. And it all started once again with Blacklist getting game one zero to 16. And they wanted to go the distance, and FCAP did just that. Okay, guys, don't forget Blacklist isn't eliminated yet. We still have the lower bracket. And this time they showed their perseverance, really forcing, pushing the defending world champions to their limits. Five games. Five games. Five games, I see. Defending world champions. This is not the Blacklist International that you saw in the regular season, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe hints of it, but this is definitely playoff blacklist. And as they take their bow here for this series, again, they're still looking for that opportunity later on in the lower bracket.